Hey people, what's going on? I am the Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw a hula girl pinup. So like I said, this is how to draw a hula girl, and this is the exact image you're going to be drawing today. Now it's very much sort of reminiscent of Sailor Jerry style, just a few little modifications to make it look a bit more modern in my opinion. So you're going to start off with the head. The head's going to be this oval shape. Now very important to start off with the head because we're going to use the head to measure everything to get everything as where it's supposed to be. So from the center head coming down, about three heads long, create a nice curved line. It's going to be like the spine going down to the pelvis. The shoulders are going to cross here about half, a, half the head down and about a length and a half across. Now the arms to the elbow are going to be the same length as the head. The forearms would be as well, but because they're going to be a little bit of an angle, she's playing her banjo, so you know, because it's a bit of an angle, it's not going to be the same sort of length, so put those in little circles. Now the bottom of that spine, just do curved lines, two curved lines coming up to the top corners of the shoulders. Now draw a straight line across here from the pelvis, uh, one and a half times the head. Two curved lines up, going to the shoulders, and it's going to give like a perfect nice little bend for the body. Now the thighs are going to be about one and a half times the head, so a bit longer than the arms. You know, they're going to be pretty close together, you know, you saw in the original picture. And the bottom part is going to be the same, so one and a half again. So just basically building up this really cool skeleton, and once we've got the skeleton, we're going to sort of work out from there. So put the feet in there, it's probably about half the size of the head curving down. You know, she's on her tiptoes. Now she's going to hold on the banjo, so I'm using two circles, and just the little curved lines to connect it to create a base. A long rectangle, and this kind of sort of like pentagon shape at the end. I'm drawing two curved circles now, you know, big sort of sausage shapes going around the arms. So where you've got the dots, just curve right around them. Do the same for the forearms, and then just curve off those up towards the head, making a little bit of a neck. Similar to the thighs, you're going to create these ones, maybe a bit wider than the, uh, the forearms, because they're a bit more chunky the thighs. And the uh, calves, just remember, you get the dip in the muscle, so you get a bit more of a curve on the outside. You know, a little bit different to the thighs there. Curve around with the feet, sort of two triangle shapes like so. Now you put the hands there, you know, in the original sort of one for this, you know, the Sally J one, the hands are a bit weird. So I made them a little bit more lifelike, so get the fingers in there a bit more straight. Uh, the breasts are going to be like two sort of curved circles, like that, and just erase the top part of the circle. Now for the face, we're going to go up close here. So I'm going to divide it into three sections. So you've got halfway, halfway through the middle, and then halfway through that again. Divide that top line into five little bits, and then off for section two and four, you're going to draw the eyes. So two curved lines, and you're going to have these like feathery sort of lines coming down to create the eyelashes. The nose is going to be on that second line, so two little dots and two little curved lines to create nostrils. The eyebrows is going to sit curved above, and the mouth is going to be on that third line down. So do a line across, and then this nice little V-shape with a dip above it, and a little curved line to create a bottom lip. Now she's going to be wearing the, um, the flowery headband, so get a long soft shape going through the top of the head, Make sure it goes a bit wider than what the circle is because it sits around her hair. And just quite like a bit of wonky line going around the outside and a few little flicks in the inside, just going to give a little bit of texture to it. Now the top of the head is going to come off and I'm going to create this nice curve going around and make sure it's going wider than the circle again. And same here, just around the face, I've done two little curved lines in the face and then it's way, two wavy lines coming down to create the outside of her hair. In between it we're going to do a bunch of little sort of thinner lines just coming down. So going back out again so you can see the whole body view now. So everything's in there, so now I'm going to add more sort of like the um, the flowery parts that's going to hang around from her neck, coming down over the breast. Just around her waist, she's going to the waistband, which is going to sort of go into her sort of, uh, into her skirt. And the skirt's going to be very sort of feathery, so you've got your sort of tassels all coming down, flicking outwards. You know, I like them coming at this angle, so it feels like a bit of wind sort of blowing. You know, I like to create a few little sections out of it. And I'm going to add the same thing around the ankles and around the wrist, as I've done around the neck and the head. Just go over it in your pen work now, get a nice good liner out and go over the whole thing in pen work. And once I've got this done, I'm going to start hitting that with some shading. So I'm going to put a little bit of black just underneath the guitar, well, the banjo, and a little bit of black in the side of the circle on the inside part. Now I'm going to go up to the hair. Now from the top and the bottom bit, I'm just going to do a little bit of black like so. And then I'm going to do black going through the centre bit now, leaving two little highlights around the edge. You know, it's a real simple way of shading the hair, it looks really effective. And now her sort of tassel skirt around the bottom, we're going to have black fading down, leaving a few little gaps so you can see the inside between it. Now you don't lose that tassel effect. Now the legs are going to come really good and they're really simple shading, so I'm going to go directly on the outside with this tone. A nice smooth tone. 
And then after that, I'm going to hit with this tone, a slightly darker version, just coming off the edge of that, just fading inwards. Just really simple, just from the outside edge, just fading inwards. That's all it really is. Same here, the tone coming down the side, just fading out, and then darker tone just on the outside, fading a little bit inwards. You know, and that same principle we're going to do pretty much everywhere. So I can do that on the feet, you know, just bringing the light shade, then the darker shade around it. And the same thing on the upper body when we do that, like going around the arms, you've got on the outside line, and anywhere there's a line, I'm going to go over. And the lighter tone, and then hit with darker tone just on the inside of each one of those bits of shading. You know, the only difference in here is the hands. I'm going to do a little bit, just a little kind of circle inside the hands. The face, same principle, so I'm going to go around the edge of the face and just around the eyes and nose bit with that colour. And then come on with a slightly darker tone now. And then just underneath the eyes, I'm going to hit up with a really nice faded red. And that's going to be this red. I'm just going to use it nice and softly around there. And I'm going to use the same red to colour in all the flowery bits. So just really nice, bold those all in. Once I've got this done, you know, pretty much it's mostly done now. So I've got the banjo and the belt, which I'm going to do in this nice kind of yellowy caramel tone. Just like so. And that finishes it off, people. You know, you've got a nice little close-up there to see all the details. You know, but yeah, it's a real simple way of doing it, you know. And it's really effective. And make sure you use the measuring tool. It's really handy getting a proportion in there. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out my videos. I am The Broken Puppet. And I'll see you next time, people. Peace.